Hello everyone, my name is Zheng Jianhua. Today, I will use the PPT to show you my paper. The title of my paper is Research on Optimal MPPT or Photovoltaic System Based on Disturbance Observation Method. My report can be divided into the following four parts. The first part is the main concern of the paper, and the second one is the realization principle of this method, and the third one is the main advantages of this method. Then the fourth is construction of the entire photovoltaic system. Now, let's look at the first part. The first part mainly introduces the main content of the paper. The picture above is equivalent circuit of the photovoltaic cell. Based on this equivalent circuit, build its mathematical model in Semenik. The formula for establishing the mathematical model is as follows. <coughs> um, note 4. According to the previous uh, conditions, the equivalent uh, sub Solution can be obtained on this. The picture is the mathematical model of photovoltaic cells in Semenik. We can get the output group of the photovoltaic cell through simulation operations. The image shows that the output core of the photovoltaic cell changes with the voltage under certain external conditions. The photovoltaic cell has a maximum output power. Now, let's look at uh, the traditional power checking method of photovoltaic system. Traditional methods mainly include three. The first one is the constant voltage method. And the second one is the perturbation observation. Then the third one is incremental consultants method. Due to the power instability of the photovoltaic system, it is necessary to develop a high efficient MPPT method. Then we look at the second part. The second part Many introduce the realization principle of this method. This is the model of the traditional perturbation observation method. This method is relatively simple and convenient in practical applications, but the the effect is not very satisfactory. The PD relationship picture of the photovoltaic cell can be obtained by calculation shown in the picture. So, any point in the figure above indicates that the set of speed at a certain moment is dk. And then two equidistant points are t 
Checking before and after this point, they are dk minus 1, dk add 1, and dk add 1 is equal to dk add delta d. dk minus 1 is equal to dk minus delta d. And finally, find different situations of three points. Parts can be obtained according to the different uh, positional relationships. First, set the reference quantities H and Y. When PK is bigger than PK minus 1, Y is equal to 1. Other Y, Y is equal to minus 1. When pk at 1 is bigger than pk, then y is equal to 1. Otherwise, y is equal to minus 1. When pk is equal to pk minus 1, pk at 1 is equal to pk, then y is equal to 0, h is equal to y1 at y2. The MPPT control process introduced in this article is as follows. If PK is bigger than PK minus 1, PK L1 is bigger than PK, then H is equal to 2. If PK is bigger than PK minus 1, pk l1 is smaller than pk, then h is equal to 0. If pk is smaller than pk minus 1, pk l1 is smaller than pk, then h is equal to minus 2. If pk is bigger than pk minus 1, pk l1 is equal to pk then h is equal to 1. If pk is equal to pk minus 1, pk l1 is smaller than pk, then h is equal to minus 1. If pk is equal to pk l1, pk minus 1 is equal to pk, then h is equal to 0. Now, I will introduce the new MPPT method. This control method of changing the duty cycle based on the disturbance observation method can significantly reduce the oscillation of the output part of the photovoltaic cell at the maximum power point. The duty cycle is simple and the relationship between the power is compared and then an appropriate duty cycle with output. Finally, the output duty cycle is PID adjusted and the final duty cycle is output the switching element in the both circuit. The photovoltaic cell can output the maximum power, so that the cell always works near the maximum power point to achieve the purpose of seeking the maximum common power. It is the P and U characteristic group diagram of the <coughs> output of the photovoltaic cell. When the temperature is changed, the image shows that the output power of the photovoltaic cell changes with the voltage. Under certain external conditions, the photovoltaic cell has a maximum output power. It can be seen from picture that. When the temperature of the photovoltaic cell is constant, the net intensity increase, 
the short circuit current of the photovoltaic cell will increase with increase of the light intensity. The output power of the photovoltaic cell will increase with the increase of the light intensity. And the maximum output power also increases with the increase of light intensity. It is worth mentioning that their changes are very obvious. Therefore, we can get a conclusion that is the power voltage relationship and the current voltage relationship of the photovoltaic cell is not a linear relationship, but an obvious non-linear relationship. At the same time, we can also get that the short circuit current and output power of photovoltaic cells are greatly affected by the light intensity, and the open circuit voltage is relatively small. According to the both the circuit, the input in sample are therefore. Only the duty cycle D needs to be adjusted so that the input impedance of the photovoltaic cell is equal to the load impedance and the maximum power can be obtained to improve checking efficiency. Now we say part 3. The effect of this method as four. The first one is faster tracking, and the second one is smaller oscillation at a maximum power, and the third one is easy to implement, and the fourth is easy to use. From the above picture, we can know that the Improved power checking method has better results than the traditional method and has certain reference value and particle value. Now we see part 4. It is construction of the entire photovoltaic system. This is a simulation model of the inter photovoltaic system. At the present, there are many methods for maximum power checking of photovoltaic system. The traditional method can no longer meet people's requirements. Due to their imperfect checking efficiency and checking accuracy. Therefore, the article pro proposed can improve the disturbance of a servicing method and the feasibility of the method is verified through simulation. Experiment. This method above the program of photovoltaic cells occurs in at the maximum power point, reduce power loss, and uh, increase the efficiency of the core checking. For the power thinking research of photovoltaic system, a certain reference price. Thanks for your time. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Wang Zhenliu, who come from Dalian Polytechnic University. I'm here to introduce my essay, Research on Max Power Point Tracking Control of Photovoltaic Cells Based on Photo Control. My presentation will have introduction, photovoltaic and the system, perturbation and observation logic control and con con conclusion this power part. Part one is the introduction. At the f at first the introduction is the background. Due to the development of society and the technology, people's demand for electricity is increasing and the excessive excessive consumption of traditional fossil energy and uh, with the environmental problems getting worse and worse, people are focusing, focusing on clean energy, such as wind, solar, tidal, energy act, therefore making the system run stable at the max power point is a key issue. The current max power point method, like an uh, open circuit voltage master, south circuit current master, perturbation and observation master, incremental conductor master. These are traditional measures. Now like um, neutral network control, physiological control, uh, uh, intelligent algorithm. This I say are uh, focusing on Logic control and uh, compare with perturba perturbation and observation. Part two is photovoltaic cells under the system. In PV system, is mainly composed of the PV arrow, the CC converter, max power point tracking, and um, PWM model. The theory of PV system is when photovoltaic cells get light, it will generate voltage and uh, current. Then adjust the duty circle of convert to change the output. Adjust the duty circle is the max power pointing model need to do. Then introduce the PV model. Photovoltaic power generation is a power generation system that uh, uses a photoelectric effect to convert solar, solar energy into electrical energy. <coughs> the structure of the photovoltaic cell is similar to the P injection. When there is light, it will generate voltage and current. According to its principle, and uh, this uh, formula, we can build uh, a model in MATLAB and the same link. Part three is perturbation and observation. The principle of the perturbation and the obs observation method is is to perturb the voltage and then control the system according to the change of the power before and uh, after the disturbance point. If power increase, the disturbance continue in the same direction. If the power decrease, the disturbance is applied in the opposite direction. The perturbation and observation method used to increase or decrease the voltage at a fixed depth less and uh, constantly compared the power after the voltage change. However, due to the inherent uh, contradiction between the response speed, the stable caused by the setting of the step size, the variable step size 
perturbation and observation method was developed later to collect the current and the voltage values, calculate the power difference between the power value uh, and the sampling sampling points before and after, set the difference coefficient. In the early stage, use the last step sets to approach quickly. Change the step sets in the later stage. Use the smaller step sets, and then use iteration to make the step sets smaller and smaller, which can quickly stabilize the max power point and uh, minimize the output tape. These are the perturbation model with fixed step and uh, with variable step built in MATLAB and Simulink. Part 4 is the key of, the, of this essay. It's the fast logic control. As a complexity non-linearity, high synthesis and the coupling of control objects increase people's ability to acquire accurate knowledge relatively reduced and the possibility of using tr traditional process control is also reduced. The fuzzle control has emerged. Fuzzle logic control is a kind of language logic controller which includes data acquisition, falsification, fuzzle rule logic re reasoning, defalsification, de and the output. This, this is the procedure of a uh, fragile logic control. Which among them, in fragile logic control, the key of is to uh, build a controller. The, con the key of the controller is to choose the membership function uh, and uh, build fuzzle rules and uh, choose the defuzzification method. In this paper, the input membership fun function chose the triangle and the output membership function chose a Gaussian tab. Because the triangle and the Gaussian membership function has good adapt adaptable and the oper operation is convenient and the performance is familiar. The fuzzle rules are most uh, come from experts' exercise and uh, the defuzzle Defuzzification method is synthetic method because the calculation is small and the calculation calculation speed is accurate. Then built. Um, uh, built a model in MATLAB and uh, Simulink. These are the first fuzzle logic control model. In order to compare the optimization ability of the fuzzle control method for the system, the simulation method is used for simulation. Set the same simulation time to 0 0.16 seconds. Keep the, keep the temperature constant at 25, and the intentional land intends to 1000, which will decrease to 800 at 0 0.1 second for simulation. These are the results of the simulation.
the simulation results are shown in the figure. Two methods can check the maximum power point, the voltage fluctuation of the perturbation and observation tracking method is 5 volt voltage. The current fluctuation is 1.8 and it takes 0 0.022 seconds to regain the stable state. The fragile logical control tracking method. The voltage fluctuation is 3 volts. The current fluctuation is 1 and, and takes 0 0.005 seconds to regain the stable states. According to the results, one can we can draw the conclusion. It can be seen from the stipulation simulation results that both methods can finally reach the maximum power point. Indicating that the two algorithms meet the functional requirements, but the performance is quite different. The result shows that the output current voltage and the power using the perturbation and observation method will fluctuate after being stabilized, and uh, it will be slow to reach a uh, stable state. Data is caused by its own structure, but uh, the output current voltage and uh, the power obtained by the fuzzle control method. Although there are fluctuations, the fluctuations are relatively small. That is, the so-called smooth smoothness is good and the speed to reach the optimal optim optim solution is also shorter, which shows that the tracking speed is good. When encountering a sudden situation, in this art like this article, which is when the external conditions suddenly change, it takes longer for the perturbation and observation to track master tracking master to reach a stable state again then using the fuzzle logic control uh, so the anti interference ability of the fuzzle control master is much stronger it can be concluded that fuzzle control is more suitable for dulling non-linear time varying systems. Considering the actual project, the external condition of the photovoltaic systems are changing all the time. So the fragile control method is more suitable for actual projects. Although the fragile logic control systems uh, has these advantage. The design of a fragile controller is based on trial and observation procedures that there is still analytical toy to analyze the stability of the fragile control system and uh, the actual cost of the fragile control method is rel relatively higher with its a problem that needs to be solved in the future. These factors hinder the engineer application of fragile control. Uh, this is this is my presentation. I'd like to know your comments. Uh, thank you.